Welcome to the stream. Uh, is better. Uh, is it? Unsure. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna try and set this up. Oh, there's that. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, uh, I'm get set up for this. Okay, this will have to do. Hi, hi everyone. Doing a, a bit of a different stream. We're uh, we're grilling some burgers. Um, I was I I do still have plans to do the if Return of the Jedi came out in uh, 2023 um, video. I, I have that all set up and everything, but uh, my internet's down, so I can't really do that. Uh, so unfortunately, that that does put a little wrinkle in our plans. But uh, I'm just gonna grill some burgers with you guys, and we're just gonna, you know, figure it out. We're just gonna do that. So come and join me. All right, all right, so grills uh, on, should be, all right? Yep, okay, so. Let's get these burners going. We'll start talking. Return of the Jedi. Um, yeah, the best movie ever made. I'm just gonna, we could end it there if you wanted. We really could. It's just two thumbs up, 10 out of 10, great movie. Um, yeah, definitely one of my favorites of all, of all time. You know, I, I, if you pressed me, if you said, um, like, you know, gun to your head, which one is your favorite? Which, which movie of all time uh, is your favorite? I would definitely still say Return of the Jedi because it's it's really good it's really good um yeah I I highly I would say watching Star Wars is worth it just so you can get to Return of the Jedi um because <laughs> I love it that much it's so good it's so good um yeah definitely one of the better films in the saga, one of the better films in the universe, really. You know, we, we only have access to, like, our specific uh, uh, movies on Earth, you know, devised by humans, and uh, I guess any made by uh, animals. I, I remember those monkeys in Africa took some, some photos and PETA actually sued to give them ownership rights because PETA is a fucking joke. Anywho, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, flip that. Flip that. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, no, Return of the Jedi, it's, it's still very good. Um, uh, obviously, the one they played in the theaters was Special Edition because George Lucas has made the original ones very very hard to find and as far as the original trilogy special editions go i would say return of the jedi is a very mixed bag empire is is the one that's hurt the least by it and a new hope is the one where it's completely just awful um and like completely unnecessary but i feel like this one i feel like return of the jedi is is Definitely, yeah, it's definitely a mixed bag. Um, but, uh, Return of the Jedi mixed bag, but, but a lot of the changes are good, um, I will say. Uh, uh, one of the better ones is, uh, not, not the whole victory celebration sequence, but the, um, the new music that they used was a lot more fitting than Yub Nub. Um, Yub Nub sucks. Yub Nub sucks, for real. Uh, I have an idea, actually. I'm gonna 
unrelated, I'm gonna set you up right here. And I will spin this chair around. All right, there we go, that's better. Um, so yeah, Return of the Jedi, special edition, mixed bag. Um, I, I'm neutral on the n like new Star Wars. Sorry, I'm I'm neutral on the new Sarlacc design. I say new; it's been out since the '90s. Come on, sit down, Bobby. Sorry, my dog's here. Look at my dog. Look at my dog. You did not see Return of the Jedi with me, buddy. Your 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 opinions are suspect, but sure, let's let's. You can be here too. You can be here too. Here, I'll, I'll set it like this, so you can still see us, both of us. Uh, okay. Hi. Hi, dog. How you doing? How you doing, Bubby? So, yeah. Um, uh, new Sarlacc is okay. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Um, uh, that one scene, the... the oh, shit. I keep having to change this. Uh, the scene with, like, the, the weird dog thing that, like, sticks its tongue out and, like, eats the slug... That was bad. Um, Jedi Rocks is cringe. Uh, it was cool that they got the original actor for the for Ula, the green hair tail lady. Uh, they got her back in the in the outfit to shoot some more um, shots for uh, when she gets eaten by the Rancor. That was really cool. I was I was really into that. I was like, wow. You know, because she looks the exact same. Um, yeah, you can't tell that it's from, because I grew up watching the special editions. Because I'm a, I was born in 2002. Uh, this dog is just gonna lick this chair. Don't don't pay him any attention. Don't pay him any attention. Um, but yeah, I never knew that. I never knew the difference that when she, that that when they put her in the thing, you know. We, uh, we don't see her. Um, but yeah, Lofty Neck is better than, uh, Jedi Rocks. Jedi Rocks sucks. The new CGI creatures are pretty, pretty butt ugly, to be honest. Uh, yeah, George can't fucking help himself sometimes. Uh, so that was, that was the Jabba's Palace thing. Um, uh, just, just Luke's whole, that whole intro is very well paced, right? Because we get, we have to wait for a little while. We have to wait for a, a, for a quite a long while, actually. And, you know, we, we get some, a little bit of action when Luke, yes, hi, Bubby. Hi, Bubby. Hi, Bubby. Hi, Bubby. Hi. Well, you think I can finish my stream without you? sitting here yeah yeah no probably not okay uh go check my burgers real quick uh but yeah i, I like the pacing of that whole thing how we look at burgers burgers how we look at pretty good pretty good pretty good very nice uh maybe these are not right so done Kind of falling apart, so that's fine. Um, anyway, uh, that, that whole oak intro, you know, people say it's like pointless and it's like, oh, Luke's playing sucks. Uh, no, he's giving Jabba as many chances as he can to surrender before he shows up and murders all of Jabba's fucking buddies. You know? He doesn't want to just straight up fucking kill Jabba the Hutt. Even though Jabba's an evil murderer. An evil gangster murderer who kidnapped Han and locked his ass up in Carbonite. Luke still doesn't want to just straight up murder him with a laser sword. So he gives him a bunch of chances. He, he tries to negotiate. 
he tries stealth with Leia. Um, he shows up, tries to negotiate. Then he tries to just pull a gun and shoot Jabba in the face. All right, my fucking, mm, this dog, this dog. This dog is gonna be the death of me. Child, stay in or stay out, pick one. I'm staying out here, stay. Yeah, so Jabba, he, he tries to pull the gun on Jabba and just, you know, just kill Jabba, not involve anyone else, but that doesn't work. So, oh my God. No, stay in there. Um, uh, so instead, oh my fucking god. Knock it off. Take your phone. See this? Oh, eat it. Eat it somewhere. Eat it somewhere else. I hate dogs. I hate owning dogs. Um, uh, but then he, he, he finishes, uh, uh, killing off the Rancor and he, he tries to warn Jabba. He says, don't do it, but Jabba does it. So he keeps giving him chances cause he's merciful. You know, he does choke those Gamorreans, but he's, he's merciful and Jabba takes advantage of that and he gets killed and that's, that's fun. Um, and, and like, I gotta, I gotta say, right? Like being a kid back in the eighties and, you know, seeing it in theaters and then R2 just goes, shoots the, the lightsaber out of his head. You know, you saw the trailers, it was blue. You know, you weren't, you weren't so excited, right? And then it comes down into his hands. Boom, he lights it up and it's green. That would have been cool as shit, dude. That would have been cool as shit. And I never I never got that with um, Mace Windu's purple lightsaber because Attack of the Clones came out like a few months before I was born, like four months-ish. Um, but like, yeah, it was awesome. Like, just imagine how cool that was for a kid in the 80s. That would have been awesome. So Luke catches the lightsaber. It's green. So cool. Like, holy shit. Um, uh, and, and he just, he just goes to town on everyone and it's really cool. And Boba Fett dies like a bitch and it was really funny. Uh, yeah. I like that it goes for a more comedic tone. It, it, it just, it resonates with me. It resonates with me. All, all around, Richard Marquand did a, a really good job on that film. And yeah, I, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess, uh, oh, my fav, my, literally my favorite scene in all of Star Wars is the little landing pad scene in the little bridge area underneath the landing pad when Luke gets dropped off by the, uh, by the ad at and he's just talking to Vader. That's my favorite scene in all of Star Wars. It's the best one. You know, he, he, the, the, it's too late for me, son, is some of the best line delivery in the whole franchise. In cinema, James Earl Jones is a, is a master. Mark Hamill is a master. Uh, Harrison Ford got a lot of really good moments. This may be like the one that he hates the most because he's like, oh, I wish they would have killed me. But no, he does, this is his best role as Han Solo. This is his best time as Han Solo. He's so damn funny. And he gets so many good moments. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna flip these burgers real quick. They might be done. It might be. I'm not, I think only one of them is. Cause one of these burners is, I think a little bit hotter than the others. So, move them over, closer to that burner. 
for another two minutes. Sure. Um, yeah. Anywho, where is he? Where's he? Who? Who's he? Who's he? What do you need? Who, do, who are you trying to look for? Who are you looking for? You looking for him? You looking for this dude? You looking for this dude? He doesn't know anything about Return of the Jedi. He don't know shit. <laughs> he don't know nothing. But yeah, I'm over here. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm grilling during this. So, sorry to disappoint. Um, yeah, anywho. That was a good scene. A lot of good acting. Um, Harrison Ford was very good. Uh, Carrie. Carrie wasn't fantastic in this one. She lost a lot of her, her feistiness, her, her, her uh, spunk. She kind of lost that. Um, she's pretty good. Lando was really good in this. Um, yeah. Nobody was really bad or anything. It, it was it was phenomenal. It was really good. Um, now let's talk about the Ewoks. I, I like the Ewoks. I think they're okay. But I understand if you don't like them. Um, uh, I understand if, if your whole thing was like, oh, I wish, I wish it was Wookiees instead. Like, I get it. But also, no, that wouldn't have worked because the holiday special established... Uh, that they all live in, like, nicely furnished penthouses <laughs> overlooking, like, Central Park. Yeah, so that would not have worked out so well. But I thought it would have been cool, and it would have made their victory make a lot more sense. Um, but then it would have been, like, you know, all the Wookiees are, like, not super technologically advanced. And I love the idea of Wookiees just being technological wizards, uh, but all their stuff is wood paneled, so it's like, oh yeah, we're we're still super awesome at everything. It's just everything's wood paneled because the seventies and the eighties. I think that is a funny dynamic. Okay, I think just like a minute, a minute more in there should probably be fine. Um. So yeah, I, I understand that it kind of had to be Ewoks, um, but I thought they did a good job. I liked, I liked them. Uh, the moment where one of the Ewoks is like shaking the other to try and get him to wake up after he gets blown up, it's still sad, still hits, still hits. Um, yeah, fantastic, best Star Wars movie. Easily, easily the best Star Wars movie. Sorry my hair, it's super frizzly. That's terrible. Uh, yeah, that's shameful. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think, I think that was a pretty solid film. Uh, some best cinematography, best lighting, best editing. It's really good. Really, really good. Really solid. And I, I think Mark Wand was the best director the Star Wars films ever had until... Ryan Johnson. I feel like as far as directing goes, they both really, like, experimented with it and, like, did things with it. Try to do more, like, visual storytelling than, you know, storytelling through dialogue. You know, Kirshner was good. Lucas was passable. J Abrams was fine. But they really, like, tried to do something. And you have to admit that. Even if, even if you don't like what they did, they still tried to do something special. And I thought that was really funny. I, I, you know, like, it's like, wow, you know, they, this is Star Wars. This is a, a fantasy movie about space wizards and samurais. Um, uh, and they're, they're like actually trying to make it a real movie and it works. Uh, yeah, I, I liked it. I thought it was very special. It has always been very special to me, near and dear to my heart, and it will continue to be because it is the peak of cinema. Those are my, those are my real opinions. Return of the Jedi is the best movie of all time, and I will stand by that.
So uh, thank you for watching.